What's up YouTube, this is Eiffel Modder, and today I'm going to be showing you the new 4.2.1 Untethered Jailbreak for all iOS devices. But I first wanted to start off by saying that starting from today, I'm going to start making more serious YouTube videos and probably updating you guys every day on the newest jailbreaks and newest rumors about all iOS devices. So please subscribe above and you will see everything. So the like I said, it's all iOS devices, and the devices supported for it actually are iPod Touch 2G, MC and non-MC model, iPod Touch 3G, iPod Touch 4G, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS new boot ROM and old boot ROM, as well as the iPad. Unfortunately, the iPhone 3G is not supported for this because there is already an untethered jailbreak for it with using Red Snow. If you want to see that jailbreak, please click the annotation here. If you want to see the Apple, 2, Apple TV 2G untethered jailbreak, please click the annotation here. So now let's get started. First, you'll need to download Green Poison RC6 from the links below. This jailbreak is supported for both Mac and Windows, and I have both of them ahead of me right now. I'm going to be doing the process on, on, on the Windows, but it is similar to the one on the Mac. So now let's get started. First off, on the Mac, you're just going to want to extract Green Poison to your desktop. Then just op open Green Poison and when it asks you if it's an Apple TV, you just select no and proceed like normal as you would on the Windows. But unfortunately on Windows, it is a little bit more complicated. When you get Green Poison on Windows, you want to extract it to your desktop. Right click, go into properties. Then you want to go in the compatibility tab. Then you want to select run this program in compatibility mode for then change it to Windows XP Service Pack 2 once you do that you want to scroll down and then go to run this program as an administrator click apply and OK what you're going to want to do now is connect your iOS device to the computer I have an iPhone 3GS right here and it's connected via USB as you can see and now let's just launch the jailbreak. So now it's asking me, are you jailbreaking an Apple TV? And for this video, we are not. So you want to select a no. Okay. Now it says, prepare to jailbreak DFU. So once I click this button, the video is going to go kind of fast paced. So you might want to replay this a few times. What's going to happen is as soon as I click prepare to jailbreak, it's going to give me a three second grace period. Then it's going to prompt me to hold down the power button for three seconds. After three seconds, I add in the home button and hold down the combination for a total of 10 seconds. Then after 10 seconds, you have to release the power button and continue to hold the home button for a total of 15 seconds or until prompted. So let's start that right now. Okay. So prepare to jailbreak. Three two, one, holding down the power button for three seconds, one, adding in the home button, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, releasing the power button, home button only, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, okay, so now it gives you an option down below to click for jailbreak. So as you can see, I'm still holding down the home button because if you will release it, this will screw up the jailbreak. So now I'm going to press jailbreak. Now as you can see, this is jailbreaking. Alrighty. This white screen is definitely normal. Do not panic. It's just uploading the jailbreaking files and now all these codes will start to come down your screen. You might want to give it about like five to seven minutes at max and just leave it. Don't read what the codes say because it might mislead you. So just let it be and you should be good. So I'll come back when my jailbreak is done. Okay, so now we have fully booted up and now what you're going to want to do is unlock your device. Go, and as you notice, if you're familiar to jailbreaking, the usual Cydia icon is not there. What you're going to need to do is go into Loader, 
this is a new application on your home screen, one, one of your home screens. And as you can see here, it says Cydia. Now you're going to want to click on Cydia and select Install Cydia. Now it's going to download it. And I'll come back once it has installed Cydia to show you how to remove the loader app. Okay, so now I have finished downloading Cydia and actually when I exited it rebooted the device so that is normal. So now, as you can see here, I have Cydia. It's the little brown icon. So before I go into Cydia, I'm going to show you how to delete this loader application off of your screen. So what you're going to want to do is go on options in the top left corner once you are inside of loader and select a remove loader dot app. And now you just press the home button and it's going to respring or reboot your iDevice. I will come back once it is done. Okay, so now that we have removed the loader app, I just want to show you that Cydia does in fact work. And here you go. So thank you so much. Please support my new milestone for starting my new videos on my new channel. Please subscribe, like this video. And just have a nice day. See you later.